All right, what's going on? I have had quite the introduction before this video. Uh, just, well, hey, how's everyone going? Tonight we're gonna be making a fun map that was actually picked by a user. Um, the concept picked by the user, the way I've been streaming, I have been coming up with the concept beforehand, something more related to my, um, to my Heroes Haven that campaigns I already had. So someone else came up with the concept, and I'm really excited about this one. But right before I got on stream, um, I was trying to actually get a picture of it up on here so you guys can see it. But my, I just put a new mini fridge in my basement to go with everything, and I loaded it up with sodas. And this is a... You can turn this fridge into a freezer so it can get down that cold, and I guess I had the knob setting incorrect, and there's soda <laughs> all over the inside of my fridge. Uh, so much of it exploded. It's crazy. So I was uh, reacting to that and trying to get that cleaned up, but it's all right I can get back to that later. We are here now. So hopefully um, It seemed like I had the sound settings correct last time uh, And hopefully that's the case right now. Hopefully you guys can hear the music It's not too loud and you can hear me. Otherwise, I'm just talking to myself for nothing um, So let's go ahead and get into tonight's uh, design so the one that really stood out to me, I loved the concept of it, was by, I don't, I don't want to mispronounce any names, so I'm just going to spell it, it's M-A-L-A-C-S-O-N-K-A, -A -A. Uh, and the concept behind it was, uh, while a wizard is away, the various magical creatures in his lab break out for the wizard's apprentice to lock them up. And the reason this one really stuck out to me uh, was, A, it's just a funny concept, but I think that this is also you can input this into any campaign if the apprentice is looking for help and is reaching out to someone freaking out trying to get these creatures back into his uh his lair or castle or whatever it is before he gets back uh, i really liked the general idea of it so other than that i haven't planned anything for this uh, i just opened up a basic broadleaf map on here and we're just gonna wing it so uh let's go ahead and get started uh, so we are in the forest here, I imagine. I think I do want there to be a, a river. I do want a river. We're going to start with that. So, uh, yeah, we'll go here. We'll, we'll just add the river. Now, I believe once I do, it should start. I thought it would get rid of the trees, so I may have to delete some trees. But just like a little, a little curvature, a little bend. So I guess if you come up with some, uh, Okay, oh, chats are popping up now. I don't know why they took so long to pop up, but they are popping up now. All right, here we go. Why is it not popping up over here? Um, I'm not sure why it's not popping up here, but that's okay. I'll just look over here the whole time. All right, hold on. Let me swap this over here. So that way I can see everything. All right. I uh, can hear you loud and clear. Good to see you, DJ Widget. How's it going? Um, hey, looks cool. Let's go back. What's up, Monkey Minute? Nice to see you. Tom Hodgins, Joe, I have my first D&D &D night tomorrow with some friends. Other than the DM, none of the five of us have any experience, and the DM has limited experience. Any advice? We're just going to wing it. Uh absolutely just wing it uh that is my starting advice you're gonna have a ton of fun doing it that way um but i would say don't get nervous this game is terrifying for anyone that's never played before um and to be fair of you say that all the people none of them have played except for the dm in my situation i was actually the first person who had uh decided to play <laughs> and um the it was my role then to figure out how to DM and then how to teach everyone, and it was very nerve-wracking. So I understand the nervousness. There is no need. The DM, especially if they've played before, is absolutely going to tell you what you need to know. So just have fun with it. You don't need a silly voice like you might see a lot of different videos do. It's not necessary. You can just be you uh, and just think, you know, what would, my, what would a person do in this situation and go from there. So have fun with it. Uh, it's a great game if you just kind of let loose. Um... We have dice, so that's a plus. Can I get some D&D &D help? Uh, I'm a player, by the way. Yes. So, absolutely. Uh, any questions that you guys have, for sure. 
Um, but like I said, in this situation, the DM is playing. So my first advice there, besides just let loose and have fun, is to definitely just listen to the DM. They're going to tell you all the different rules. Um, maybe watch some. I know that uh, Critical Role came out a long time ago with some handbook or helper that gave you just an idea of the overview of the basics of the rules. Those are really good starting points. I spent a lot of time on those when I started out. Um, and having the dice on hand, one of the things that you're probably going to run into question-wise a lot is when the DM asks you to roll some kind of check, maybe it be a perception or a stealth check or something along those lines, he's going to ask you to roll a d20. And one of the things that I find when new players are playing is they don't know what the d20 is. Um, and obviously that's the 20-sided the dice, but it takes time figuring out what that is. If you can, swap your d20 with someone else at your table. Just swap your d20 so that way it stands out. Your dice are all going to match now except for the d20. That way anytime the DM says, hey, go ahead and roll your d20 for me, you can look down and you know exactly which one that is. So anytime they ask you to make a check, that's what you're going to be rolling. Just grab the different colored dice. Uh, just a new player tip that I found along the way that I really, really like. So, uh, let me see if these comments are popping up over here yet. They are not, and I don't know why. Um, but yeah, feel free to keep asking questions. I'm going to keep uh, keep going over here. Uh, I, I really, it's much easier when the chats are on the left here, because it's kind of where I'm looking while I'm doing this. But <clears throat> All right, so we are going to put the river in now. That's super exciting, by the way. I, I love when people are playing D&D &D for the first time. You're going to... I really hope you're going to love it. I hope your, D, your DM makes it a lot of fun. Um, and if they're nervous, don't don't give them a hard time. DMing is a lot of work. It's terrifying. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it's it's exciting to see new players coming in. Society to homebrew. See, I have to look away to do this. Um, I really want the chats. Really want the chats. All right, hold on. I'm going to try and refresh the chat window over here because I don't like looking too far away from the screen and you guys just to see your chats. I like talking to you. Uh, oh. uh, tools. View. It's definitely on docs. Scenes. Stats. Was it stats? No. If you want help. All right, we're going to do it this route. This is just going to be like that. All right, that feels a little better. All right. All right, so he has decided to... Oh, can I zoom this in, actually? Yeah, there we go. We are back in business. Sorry about that, everybody. Okay. He has decided to homebrew the game. I've been trying to um, swat up quite a bit. It's a good plan with the dice. We have five sets, I believe. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so you guys can all swap the D20s. I, it will make your life, especially the first session, so much easier if you don't have to keep worrying about which one the D20 is. Um, if you want to have a Paladin and Ice Spire campaign, we, I've just gotten a level two. That's exciting. Getting out of level one is so nice and not being that squishy anymore. Um, trying to optimize my build, and I think that will get to level three relatively soon. Very cool, very cool. Uh, I tend not to worry too much about optimizing. I haven't done anything on here. I'm sorry. I try not to worry too much about optimizing um, as far as like a, a, how strong my player is. I like to have a lot of fun with... I find that sometimes when things go wrong, that's when the most fun happens. So if you're stressing over your build, don't. But if you're having a lot of time doing it, definitely go that route. Let's start with an entry. We'll just start with the basic hallway here. And this will be the main entry. I'm thinking something along the mansion. This wizard's got to be rich. You know, he's out here collecting animals. Big advice I give first timers play a character. You'll have fun playing and play. Yeah, exactly. Totally agree with that statement. Plays with other. What do you want your paladin to do? Big damage, protect the party. Paladins can be insane. I almost think that paladins and clerics are, in my opinion, top tier. Two top tiers there. Having the ability to both heal and do a ton of damage is wild. All right, we're going to attach... Um, I think I actually want this to go one more. So we're going to edit this room. And we're going to just add one more layer here. So that way we can put some central hallways. Uh, so for anyone just coming in, I see we have seven viewers. Um, we are doing a... a um, a subscriber picked 
uh, map here. So the idea is a wizard is away and his apprentice is supposed to be in charge here. And all the creatures that the wizard keeps uh, have gotten out. <laughs> and so now the apprentice is looking for help hurrying up and getting these back in before it's too late. Uh, so let's do a small hallway over here to maybe a dining room. Oh, I just added a part to that room. So let's get out of that. All right, so we're gonna do a small hallway over here and we'll do a pretty big dining room. This place is fancy. And we're gonna surround it with windows. Oh, I should switch to dining room actually. Is that one? Yeah. So, I don't know. Let's go something along these lines. All right. Uh, maybe one more. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. We're making this big, big. All right. Who needs a dining room this big for one person? No one. Well, one person and his apprentice. So we're going to clear the room here. So go here. We can click the room. We can uh, delete objects in the room just to keep it nice and open for us to work on. Maybe that's too big. Maybe we'll make this. Oh, I love the, uh, the arches. That looks great. So we'll fix the floors and stuff. I know they don't match. So maybe we'll make this more of like a living area. Although I do prefer it to be back here. No, we're going to make this the dining room. So we will make another small hallway here. That's going to go back. Oh, we need a courtyard. <laughs> Lay on hands is ridiculously <laughs> OP. Oh, I made a dining room. Whoops. Uh, hallway. All right. Yeah, I love that it's making these arches. It's a small courtyard, though. I should have made this lot. Oh, man, we totally should. All right. We're redoing this. <laughs> uh, well, maybe we don't have to. I just want a bigger courtyard. So we're going to redo the last two things. So we're going to put the walkway to the dining room here. It's a long hallway. And then we're going to put... Oh, this will be nice because it's going to put the dining room right next to the river. What a nice view they'll have. My DM has encountered a couple of orcs and I put myself in the orcs. <laughs> All right. Yeah, now this is going to look nice. All right, so let's make a small hallway here to what will inevitably be the kitchen. I guess it doesn't have to be that far. Honestly, oh, no, 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 redo, redo. Uh, we don't even have to make a hallway. We'll just make a kitchen attached to it, and we'll change the door around. Not as big of a kitchen. All right. Now we'll make a small hallway here. I have a double question. Is a spreadsheet on Patreon and will it work on an iPad because I don't have a laptop? Uh, just to check, are, I imagine you're talking about the, um, are you talking about the Heroes Haven spreadsheet? Well, I guess either way. If you're talking about the Heroes Haven spreadsheet or the Satchamon spreadsheet, both of them are on Patreon. As far as will they work on an iPad, I'm not totally sure. Uh, I don't want to lie and tell you yes. Uh, so I can open them on my my phone. I have an Android phone. I can open them on there in the Excel um, in the Excel app. But it's it's very usable on the Excel app. If you plan on adjusting anything, that's going to be kind of hard to do. But as long as the as long as the iPad can get Excel on the iPad, you should be totally fine opening it up and typing in what you need to type in there. But I can't guarantee that because I don't have an iPad to test it on. So, uh, by the way, what program are you using? This is Dungeon Alchemist. It's an AI map making tool. It is amazing. I love this thing. It is made 
being a DM and making your own maps so much easier. Uh, but what's super nice about it is you can export it in not only regular images, but you can export it in Foundry. Um, actually, here. So if I go up to export, these are the options it gives you. So you can do a Foundry export, Fantasy Grounds, Roll20, uh, all these different images. I tend to do the image only just because I just put the image on my TV to go from there. Uh, but yeah, it gives you all this all these options here. So highly recommend if you're looking for a cool map making tool. Oh, did I make another kitchen? I did. I keep forgetting to go back to hallway. I love that you guys are chatting so much tonight. It <laughs> Having uh, a hard time keeping up with this in the chats is a good problem I like to have. So feel free. Keep talking. I love answering the questions. All right. We're going to make a big old great hall here. Let's go, I don't know, this route. Yeah, so we'll put some couches and stuff in here, um, but we're going to have an offshoot to a bedroom. And then I think, I'm trying to decide how we want to, uh, there's an Excel app in the App Store. Okay, great. So you can get Excel on in from Apple, which is good. Um, so I got to find out where he's going to be storing the beasts. I almost feel like it should be underground. So what I may actually do... Uh, so for those of you new to this app, you can't do multi-level things. It all has to be on one level. So what I tend to do is if I'm doing something either upstairs or downstairs, I will just make those rooms off to the side and kind of surround it with, uh, basically like infinite pits to look like it's separate from everything. So that's probably what I'm going to do here. Cause I imagine he would have all the creatures in the basement. So that's the route we're going to go. I'm going to put the bedroom right over here not a great hall goodness gracious hallway let's go like that all right and then we'll do a big old bedroom here master bedroom okay should i have attached it i feel like i should have attached it to the kitchen Uh, really like your hair saving that. Thank you. I love it. It makes it so easy to incorporate everybody, uh, anyone that wants to play, because I am one of the lucky few that actually has more people that want to play than they can handle. I know a lot of people run into the issue of not having enough players and no time to do it. So I did get very lucky. All right. So we'll put the bedroom there. I really like this courtyard idea. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but. And then we'll do like a little. Okay. So we have, what rooms am I missing? Definitely a lavatory. Um, I kind of want like, like a whole window area here. Like maybe he just hangs out and yeah, let's do that. A greenhouse. Didn't even know that was an option. Uh yeah, he definitely needs a study. We'll put the study off to the side. Let's go back to the hallway. I'm trying to decide if it would be easy to run on roll 20. Uh, I imagine it might be pretty easy to roll uh, do on roll 20. I've never actually used roll 20 myself, um, and I've never actually played online, so I don't want to say one way or the other. But I feel like it would be pretty easy to incorporate. I think your issue at that point might be that you have so many people that want to play so often that you're going to have to keep coming up with encounters quickly. <laughs> so if you don't have an issue doing that, you're golden. Then you guys can really play anywhere, anytime. Should I try the greenhouse? Let's see what a greenhouse looks like. I kind of want a sitting area to enjoy like looking out into nature, but maybe the greenhouse would be cool. Oh, that is wicked. So I was in an island village and I started to do feats that drew faith away from my day and I was forced into pledging my allegiance to the god, the god of knowledge and strength. Cool. Very cool. Do we keep the greenhouse? This is kind of cool. I mean, he's got a, he's got a little separate door here. So like, I don't know. It's like an airlock that keeps all the airflow from getting into the house. I think we do. And then maybe we put the little seating area to view nature back here. Give me a hallway again. No, I don't even, 
I don't even think we do a hallway. We're just going to do a regular room. And we'll put a whole bunch of windows in it. Yeah, I'm feeling the greenhouse. I may I may add this is <laughs> this is a pretty weak greenhouse so far. I'm definitely going to add some plants in here, but I I do like the idea of him, especially if he's collecting all these beasts and holding on to them, all these creatures. It stays. And we'll move this door around. I don't know if the pig's head goes with this if cuz I don't think he's like I don't think he's doing anything mean to him. I haven't really gotten that far yet though, so we'll see. And established my church I fight for. <laughs> Okay, so I think this is our general rooms. I am going to add the lavatory to his room, and I feel like he should have a general lavatory for the public. Um, although it's not like he's really having visitors. Oh, you know what? We're going to do it. An, well, I don't, I don't want it in the courtyard. Uh, what is this map you're making for? So this map is just, it was... Someone from one of my subscribers came up with the idea uh, because typically I will have the idea and I'll come in and I'll make a map about it. And it's usually been about encounters that I've done in Heroes Haven. Um, but I wanted to do something fun and have you guys pick something for me to do it on, which is why it seems a little lackluster as I'm going through because I don't really have a plan for it. But uh, so they said it would be a really funny idea to have a wizard that has left. He's on some kind of trip or something and he has his apprentice taking care of the house. Um, but this specific wizard is a collector of beasts for whatever purpose that may be, all of his creatures. And while the apprentice was watching them, somehow, some way, the beasts got out. <laughs> and he is now, the, the apprentice has been run out of the home. He can't do anything about it. And he has asked for help to come help get all these beasts back in order before. That's his biggest worry. He's not worried about the creatures. He is worried about the wizard coming back and noticing that they got out. So... Uh, I really liked the idea, and we're going to go with it, and I really have no idea how I'm going to execute it yet, but we'll get there. So, I think I'm going to make, I guess I will put the bathroom in the courtyard. Uh, lavatory. No, let's see what it makes it like this. Let's see what it does. really destroys the courtyard. <laughs> Alright, we need a new place for the lavatory. Oh, I still got a whole left of the hallway here. Or a left side of the, uh, the entrance. Because I'm not making this a courtyard. Um, I don't really know what to make this side. If anybody has an idea for what to make this way, let me know. Because I don't... Let's, I mean, I can see what a cellar does. Yeah, we'll see what a cellar looks like. Um, meh, meh, what's, what's it got for study? Yeah, see, I think that he would probably have this where all the beasts and such, well, it's a cool little study, I guess. All right, maybe we'll leave that for now, we'll leave that, and then we're going to put the lavatory right here. A little three by three lavatory because I'm not making this a courtyard, so who cares? I am gonna get rid of those windows because that's weird. <laughs> all right, and I am gonna fix all these walls and floors and everything to match. This is just getting the general layout. So now let's go pick a floor, and I think I don't think there's enough room on here to um, to put in. I think I'm gonna have all the beasts be underground. He has a whole underground setup. So I'm probably just going to do a second map for that portion. That's what I've decided. All right. So let's change all the floors to match. We'll go with wood. I do like this dark brown wood. 
I, <laughs> yeah, it's because you don't think about it. It's not like that. It's not like that's something you do in the game is remember to say, oh, I uh, use the bathroom. There is a funny video. My cousin sent me it. Uh, I, I forget who the people are that make all these funny clips, but they do. <laughs> They mentioned how they never once said they were using the bathroom, and then all of a sudden it became a funny part of the whole clip was them saying they needed to and all this stuff. I think there needs to be a tree right here. This seems like a perfect, like, it built around the tree moment. The arcade accommodations are going to be in the basement where I put all the beasts. So when I build the second map to go with this, it's going to go down there. <laughs> All right, so I've got those. I guess let's start in the hallway here. Let's do a little, a little entry room. I like the candles set up how they are. I do like this window, although this one's kind of silly because you're just going to be looking at this blank wall. So I'm actually going to get rid of that. And I think this one should move over to the center. And I'm thinking some... A ca oh, we're going to put a couch right here. A sofa. Sofa. Oh, Viva La Dirt League. Is that the people that did it? Is that what you're... Okay. I misunderstood. All right. I like the couch. Maybe some paintings when we come back. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Some arrangements. Uh, I do like the benches here. I love the windows on this side. I almost feel like it should be two large windows. I love the idea of them wrecking the greenhouse. There's for sure... So I'm not actually going to place any beasts in this map. There are for sure... If if I was the DM and I was running this, something's in there. Like, absolutely. And it all depends on how your, your players are going with it. But something should be in there. And it could surprise them if they're not being stealthy enough. Yeah, we're going to fix these windows. We want double windows. I think, is it just wood here? Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. What do we think? These ones, I kind of like the round top. What's a town window? Is that what we want? Uh, no, I don't think so. Well, guess so. <laughs> I just don't like that they lift up and down. I like the... But there's no white accents anywhere in the rest of this house. What's this one? Oh, is that what we want? But again, I like the round top. <laughs> these these should all be coined by wizards. All right, fine. We'll just keep it like that, and then. I also want visions of the courtyard here. We should at least match them. Do these match those? It doesn't look like it. Do they have ones that match them? Come on. Does that match? No. How do we not have matching windows? So if I go this route, does this one match these? This is crazy. I just want to match the windows, you know? No luck. All right, so I think we go back to what we had then. I think I'm cool with that. Actually, I like that. Yeah, there you go. All right. So we're going to duplicate this, bring it over. Okay, so now we'll get to the lighting and such when we're finished, but there's room to walk through there. Now we're at the dining room. I didn't put any big pillars over here, but there are some in here. Maybe they should stay up. I like it. The pillars stay. We need a table. Dining table. Dining table. Do -do -do -do. Furniture. Tables. I feel like we got to make it a big one. Got to make it a big one. Uh, this might be excessive. This is the same one, just without the leaflets. Or leaf, whatever you call them. Leafs? Leaflets? <laughs> Leaves? I kind of don't. Oh, that's all right. 
why don't you stay centered? All right. So you can make this map flat. Uh, in case you weren't aware, this button up in the top right, you can press it to 3D it again. Press it to get, you can get like around the view, or you can press it to go perfectly flat. It helps you line things up. They need more couch options. I agree. I'm tired of dealing with, you know what? But you can, hold on. I don't know what this is going to show. Give me one second. I'm, I'm going to pull up the Steam Workshop here. Um, no, not Browse Maps. Steam Workshop, Browse Assets. Steam Workshop. Uh, if I go to download something, I just I just downloaded a Hobbit hole. Okay, doesn't look like it's showing anything that you guys shouldn't see. So I will go back to this and go back to that. So uh, yeah, if you go up here to the Steam Workshop and you hit Browse Assets, you can actually see a lot of the stuff that others have published. So let's go ahead and look at the couches that they have. There we go. I mean, that's really it, though. I wish there were more. Um, the Haunted Mansion style is kind of cool. The fancy couch is kind of cool. What do y'all think about the idea of becoming a fallen paladin in a spite? We'll go with that one. Uh, I don't have a super great knowledge of paladins. I've actually only ever played D&D &D once. I've kind of DM'd forever, which is great. I love it. Um, but so I haven't really studied too much into each class unless one of my players has been that class and only in a hero's haven session have I uh, gotten to see how paladin is played all right so we're gonna center these on these crosshairs here to make a little more room for the chairs all right cool yeah, yeah 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 yeah. so now let's go look for some chairs to add in here and then we'll mess with the windows make sure they make sense uh i'm not doing the fancy red chairs i just wouldn't eat dinner in a chair like this one so yeah i guess we're just gonna go with the basic chair here All right, now it's going to rotate it, and we are not going to have them look like they've been used. Although, maybe, I mean, depending on what creatures have been around, maybe they've been kind of wrecked and moved out of the way. Similar to last week's, where we uh, had some broken stuff inside the, the home. Uh, I am going to be making this map free, by the way. Uh, after this is over, I'm going to put it on my Patreon to, for free for anyone to go grab. So if you do enjoy it when it's finished, feel free to go grab it. It's all yours. Now we definitely need a big window here. I want to move these lights over one. I don't think they have any three windows, but let's see. No. That would have been cool. Could do a bay window. Ah! Why didn't I make this an even number? I can still fix it. All right. It's worth it. It's worth it for the bay window. Maybe. What's so classy with my fallen? All right, I'll have to fix all that. That's fine. Uh, and we're going to... Well, now we're going to adjust the kitchen. All right. Now we can put the bay window right in the middle. Because things that don't matter, matter. I just like a little statue. Maybe we'll put him in. All right, um, we'll go here, and we'll go here, and then we're going to have to move all of this. Well, at least now it'll lock into place. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Any oh, we got to 
Turn collisions off if you have this app and you're having issues with things running into each other. Turn collisions off, you can throw them in uh, and have them bump into each other. And then you can just grab everything separately. All right. Let me slide this over here real quick. Pull this out. Slide this back over here. So that way I can keep seeing your comments. All right. And let me pop this up. Uh, if you don't already know, I did just start up a Discord. You can catch it over on the YouTube channel, the link for that. Uh, feel free to come over. We actually talk about a lot of different D&D stuff, so if you have more questions, uh, I'm trying to grow the community over there. So there's definitely some people in there willing to talk and help out. So feel free to check that out. Also, uh, big news for anyone that is keeping up with my Sachemon stuff. Uh, I mentioned it in a message over there in the Discord, but we have two big things coming for Sachemon. One of them actually being uh, one of the moderators in in my Discord is working on being able to, once a day, draw a card. Have a bot draw a card for you. Um, and it'll keep track of your collection and all that kind of stuff. So you'll be able to keep coming back and building your collection for free and then you'll be able to trade with other members within the discord and stuff like that so if that sounds interesting that's coming down the pipeline at some point and then i'm also making a pretty big update to sachemon in general because uh that same moderator mentioned that the cards that we used to play with pokemon wise had holographics and he's right it should definitely have holographic options so i've been working on the spreadsheet uh to update that so got some changes coming to sachemon looking forward to it is this is this just not centered? I don't understand. Why is this so hard to center? What am I missing? I've spent way too long on this dining room table. Sorry, everybody. I thought this one would be a nice easy one. I feel like it's a weird size. It's like two and a half squares wide. <laughs> rather than just a normal number of squares. Alright, let's add that bay window now. Bay window. I really liked this one. Um, all right, so I love the bay window there. I'm thinking bay windows all around. Mm, I don't like them next to each other. Yeah, and then we can put something cool against that wall. I like the little window there. I like the little window there. Although they should match this little window. All right. All right. Cool. I actually very much enjoy the different look of these walls in here. I think I'm going to keep it. And I like that double window here. And we will put one of these double windows here. I may actually, I may change this to a door to get out to the courtyard instead of having a window. Because you're going to want to get there multiple places, I feel like. This hallway is definitely going to have a walkway out to it, or an entrance out to it. And then I think, ah, but I'm putting the tree here. I was going to say maybe, maybe from his little room there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. But back to the kitchen, or the dining room. What else should the dining room have? Definitely needs these double doors to get in and out of the kitchen. Uh, we need more candle lighting. For sure. We could put them on the pillars. Oh, do we put them on the pillars? I kind of like it. It might be too much, but I kind of like it. Mm. 
That's all right. That's fine. Uh, now you need to come this way. You need to come this way. Okay. And I don't know. What else should be in here? Uh, furniture. Do they have a dining room section? I don't think so. Maybe we can go to utility. Not cooking equipment. Uh, I don't know. We'll think about it as we go. But for now, it's got candles in it. We'll fill up the table with like a nice centerpiece and such when we get there. But let's get to the kitchen itself. Just delete that. Slide that over one for sure. I like this. Mm. Now I feel like it's definitely got to stay. Uh, I don't really want to center it on these squares. Maybe I put it in the back here. Oh, get these collisions off. <laughs> yeah, we'll just keep it there for now. And I don't know if that little table there makes sense. Oh, you know what? Maybe uh, no. we're going to take this and we're actually going to put it in front of the window. Undo the change size. We're going to rotate it. And we're going to put it in front of the window. Ooh. Oh. All right, let's shrink it. Okay. We'll get rid of that. Cool. So I think we need to duplicate that. And then we can do some more shelves. Let's find some shelves here. Let's see. There we go. Shelves. Oh, these are just straight-up shelves. We need... Is it cupboards that has... Yeah, it's the cupboards. Okay. I think they have a small one that doesn't have the point. So it would fit under that window. Or maybe I'm absolutely lying. What? No way. No way. Because this is a big one. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yeah, that would be correct. Hey, welcome. Is that Malesu? Uh, Malesu32? Welcome. I don't know if you're here on the stream, but if you are, glad you're here. Yep. All right. So they don't have the shelving that I thought they had, but that's okay. All right, now I do want to change these up a little bit so they don't just look the same. Uh, let's put this here, put this over with this one, drop this down here, and then just have more bread on this shelf. This wizard likes to carb load for sure. Okay. I wish I... I wonder if they have crumbs. Because I feel like a lot of the creatures would for sure come in and eat the... <laughs> eat the bread. Oh, creature. Wrong thing. Crumbs. Nope. That would have been sweet. Alright. Lots of bread. I think they have, like, salted stuff in a barrel. They have, like, barrel o meat, I think, is one that I used last week. Bucket o meat, that's what it was. And a red bucket o meat. We'll keep that one here. Alright, and. Did I find rats? Welcome back. <laughs> I did not. Okay. 
for you. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Uh, <laughs> let me see if they have one here. All right, there we go. Oh, we have a rat and a mutant rat. Animated rat? I didn't know you could have animated stuff. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. I don't think I'm going to put the rats in this one because it wouldn't make sense, but I definitely would have put it in the last one. But we'll see what this does. All right. Let's see what this rat looks like. And you should theoretically be able to increase its size too, so you could probably make it a giant mutant rat. Oh, no way. What? You can have animated stuff in here? Get out of town. I mean, unfortunately, he's just running in place. There's no way to, like... <laughs> but that's crazy. Super cool. I didn't know that. I'm glad that you asked if the if I, could, if I found the rats, because I would have never figured that out. Now, I don't know what happened to the other rat, though. The one that I downloaded the second time. Browse assets. Uh, rat. So I want the regular one. Oh, he's in tokens. So I should be able to... Oh, it's from so high up, though. <laughs> yeah, because you can, like, visualize it as the rat. But I was wondering if they'd have it closer to the ground or not. That's too funny. All right, so we have a rat token now. That's kind of cool. <laughs> All right. All right, this is a shout-out to you. I don't know your name. So this is a shout out to the nameless. I will I am going to put a rat in here. And only the people on this stream are going to know it's there. I'm not going to make any mention of it anywhere else. Should I hide him under the shovel like barely? Whoa, what's happening? Why is he All right, it's weird that It's weird that he uh Uh, it's it's making it real weird because it's a token. I need him to spin around. But he doesn't want to. Alright, if the, we have a face down map. Oh, it's almost too obvious. Hold on. Yeah, secret rat. Secret rat for the people that come and hang out and enjoy the stream. And just know I appreciate you. Can I move him with the arrows? Oh. Was that the rat? <laughs> He's, he's been trying to tell that that's oh my gosh you're come oh man the lore the lore so this rat has been trying to save the current apprentice by getting him out of here and the only thing he could think to do was to release all the other creatures to scare off the the current one but the current one's so afraid of getting in trouble he just searched for help instead i love that i love that idea all right, I'm going to keep him here for now. We're going to find a better place for him. Because it's making it real hard that it's a token. Although I could just do the animated one. And when I take the picture, it should... It should still take the picture, no issue. So... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll put... We'll put an animated secret rat somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where. I love this concept. Big fan. Maybe in between the barrel. Oh, I like that. All right. Secret rat is in between the barrel and the uh, and the fireplace here. We tell no one, but we know. <laughs> All right, I feel like I need another table here. <laughs> Why do you hang out at the stream? Because he has cool content? No, because he puts secret rats in his maps. <laughs> All right. Oh, this looks like some decrepit meat, too. So, I mean, that would kind of make sense, I feel like, with him being away for a little bit of time, too. All right. Let's just at least get this centered on these squares here. 
Alright. There you go. So now he's got like a bread table over there. He's got some meats. Easy access to everything. Okay. Oh, does this interfere if this opens? Oh, no, it opens this way. You're good. Cool. Love the kitchen. I like the dining room. Hallway is cool. Okay. Sounds good to me. <laughs> All right. This window's going. This window's going. Because even though windows in a bathroom are nice sometimes, I mean, you're doing your thing. What is this? Why is there just a little... What is this? Who's using that? All right. I, if you watch any of my other streams, I do like to put a bear rug in my bathrooms. <laughs> Uh, but I, do, I feel like it doesn't make sense with this again. Because I don't think he's trying to hurt the creatures, theoretically. He just likes to keep them and study them. So we're going to go with a just a one of these fancy rugs. How about this one? Oh, there you go. Just a little... Bam. All right. And there's a wash basin. We'll go with this one. And I feel like we need a painting up on the side here. Uh, I see I have nine concurrent viewers at this point. So for the for those of you that are here that haven't been here since the beginning, I'm doing a map that my subscribers came up with. Uh, and the theory behind it is that there's a wizard that owns this home. And he is away, we'll say, at the moment. And his apprentice was supposed to be watching the house. Now, the problem is the wizard, he keeps a lot of different creatures and beasts to study and learn from. And uh, while he was gone, somehow they broke out. And the apprentice was not able to contain them and has gone running at this point to look for help to try and get them back in before the wizard comes back. Now, do I have a specific encounter for this yet? I do not. But that's the fun part. All right, this feels like a relatively large bathroom for like no reason, but that's okay. If we can think of something else to put in here, let me know. It's to wash your butt. Oh, is that real? That might be real. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, I feel like it's a fancy piece. Maybe you can only see it if you come here and go to this guy's bathroom. It's the only way you see this most famous art. All right, we're going to put this in between these two windows. Uh, I kind of want to put paintings on this side. But I feel like I need to leave some room to light up the hallway. All right, let's move these to here for now. See if we think that'll be enough light. And we'll put some big paintings over here, too. We'll put this one. And we'll put... I feel like they should have matching frames. Well, not matching pictures, though. Oh, this is fun. Um, so... Uh, I need to find a good picture. Hold on, let me find a good picture to put in here. <laughs> Step into my guest bathroom. Yeah, it's not even in the primary bathroom. It's in it's in the guest bathroom. Um, so, I'm oh, sorry for the ads, by the way. Uh, I'm just listening to YouTube music, so. Uh, which means that I may hit get hit with a copyright. As long as it's not copyright strike, we're okay. So... Uh, let me just go over to get a free picture here. So you can change these pictures out, uh, if you hit, yeah, that, uh, actually I'll just use one of these. So here's a picture from my LinkedIn that I just uploaded to, oh, you know what? We're going to keep it actually. We're going to put the LinkedIn lobby. So this is the lobby of the inn in Heroes Haven. So you can change these pictures to be whatever you want. So. Have fun with that. Do with that what you will. <laughs> but it's a way to keep the frame the same. 
Um, you know what? Now that we're talking about it, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna change these both to Heroes Haven pictures. Let's do the maybe. Well, uh, I don't know which one I want to do. I like the Necromancer's Nook. That's a fun room in the inn. So we'll do the picture from in there. There you go. So now we have... I mean, you'll never see him from the top down anyway, but if you look from here, you'll know. All right. I do like how his study came out here. I, I don't think I want to do much to it. I enjoy it. I think it looks good. I think this window is stupid. Uh, and let's bring one of these bay windows. Uh, maybe not one of the bay windows, just the double windows. Oh, uh, what's going on? What's going on? All right. Yeah. Put a double window there. He's got some windows here. I like the chair. Maybe, maybe we'll turn this to kind of look like he spends some time sitting at the window. You know? We'll put it, like, right there. Hey. Uh, actually, I'll do that to this side, though, because I don't want it to get in the way of whatever that book stand is. I can move the book stand, but we're already moving this chair. Okay. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Oh, does he need a painting here? I feel like he does. Uh, let's do this one. Cool. Art pieces everywhere. So, maybe this room is the entrance down into, into his area. We'll put this here. Now, I should be able to, if I remember correctly. All right, these are hurting. Yeah, here we go. Oh, are these double wide? Oh, sheesh. Yeah, they are. They're like a billion wide. I should have a set of stairs that can go down into the floor. These go on top. Here we go. Yeah. So that will take him down. Oh, yeah, that was perfect. That was perfect. I'm just going to move this a little this way. No, stop. I got to turn collisions off again. Cool. All right, what do we think about that? That's a fun, fun little study. Yeah. Okay. All right, window into the courtyard. All right, so the opening to the courtyard for sure here. Let's see what kind of double doors they have, because I'm leaning back towards these, this coffer door, but if they have a nicer one with, I think this one's going to look too gatey. Yeah, it's got, it's like, it looks like a gate. It just looks like a gate. So definitely not that one. Oh, the sculpted door is kind of cool. Maybe we rotate it. So it opens into the courtyard? No, 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 no. Wrong choice. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to put another double window here. I agree with DJ Widget. If you're happy, I'm happy. One of my uh, biggest fears is somebody getting stuck playing D&D &D with me. I don't want people to feel like they have to keep coming back. Um, I would absolutely rather someone just tell me they're not interested in it and not want to play rather than keep coming back and not be into it. Because um, A, I'd feel bad. I'd feel bad they'd have to keep coming back to play. But B, it might throw a damper on everybody else's. So definitely make sure you're happy when you're playing and that will make everybody happy. Uh, we'll figure that out in a minute. All right. What do we want in this big great hall here? What do we want it to look like? I like the columns. 
I feel like it needs a massive rug. Uh, I don't know about the pink though. I don't, I don't think I like the, the color on the outside of this one. Sounds kind of all right. All right, let's go with that one. Oh, I didn't mean to make two of them. So let's make it, I mean, huge. Yeah. And we're going to put a, definitely put a coffee table. We're going to put one of those big coffee tables in this time. Last time I was talking about how they have coffee tables that are so big it doesn't make sense. Uh, which that was a bad example. That wasn't the one, but I like this one. Oh, fireplace is genius. Genius. Uh, let's put it here, I think. I think it's like a hearth. Uh, this is for cooking, though, isn't it? I think, yeah. So this is the one that's in here. I almost think we should bring this over here and put a big bakery oven right there that makes more sense but we don't want to crush our rat so for those of you just joining because you're in you get to know the secret there is a secret rat that was <laughs> the idea was put in by the subscribers i'll never mention it in the description of the map uh, it's a little less secret where he's at now Can he go on top? And maybe I can rotate him out a little. Yeah. So there's a secret rat on the on the bakery oven. Uh, and because you're here, you get to see. Okay. Cool. Alright. The cozy chairs. I don't... Uh, they're really la Oh, you know what? Didn't we just download that couch? That fancy couch? I think we did. I can't remember if I downloaded it or not. Did I not? Browse assets. Couch. I like that hobbit hole, by the way. I haven't... Where did this come... Why was that not popping up? That is a massive couch. All right, we definitely got to tone that down some. But that is a comfy looking couch, though. So I feel like we shouldn't face it towards the fire like that. Okay. All right, so to get this a little more centered, I will go into the flat view here. All right, one there. One here. Should I put one here? I feel like no. Because I feel like it's just blocking. You know, you come in here. It's nice and open. Wow, I really like that arch. That is sweet. Oh, we definitely need some... Um, just reading the knights. We definitely need some suit of armor, suits of armor in here. Oh, gosh. Armor. Yeah. Does that feel big? That feels so big. Why is that massive? Whatever. That door is going to be changed off. Well, maybe not. I also don't think there's a problem with the bookshelf in here. See, they want to put the suit of armor on a in a uh, on a cross rather than in a square, and I don't know why it wants to do that. Huh. 
put that there and then we're gonna do one more so fun fact if you were here last stream you got to see it uh if you weren't you might have missed out but oh new subscriber jonathan welcome that's actually literally what i was just about to talk about so in my last stream i hit 500 subscribers during the stream and that was super awesome and that actually may have hold on one second that was yeah i was about to say that was 850 so huge huge growth between then and now this is mind-blowing but i'm hoping that if this growth continues maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get to hit a thousand on next week's stream which would be psycho that would be so much fun i have to like i have to come up with something cool to do i don't really know how all those streamers do the fancy stuff for stuff like that so i'd have to do some learning but worth it i would do the learning for it uh so i think we're gonna change this one from an arch to a door because if we're having this this uh whatever it was called greenhouse open up like that you're gonna want it closed because you don't want to let all the air in what do you live in a barn thank you very much dj widget it was awesome it was so cool it, just the timing was great ah, i loved it i loved it i appreciate all the support i've been getting it's been wild all right, we'll come back to this room. Um, if you think of more things you think I should add, besides lighting, I'm going to do lighting at the end here. Let me know. Now we're just going to do massive windows in here. I kind of want to do just like open windows, not even... Oh, we're on doors. Dummy. All right, so... I mean, the bay windows are cool see what arched looks like I mean I kind of like these like I'm I'm literally thinking the whole thing just be able to see out everywhere but I mean looking at it I think it looks a little silly <laughs> yeah especially like that can you make it a glass room I don't think so but that's a good question let me see if they have some kind of walls that would do that um let's just see what is this so i'm guessing yeah this is the green room no what is it interesting so supposedly this is glass huh i mean i do like it so over here this was the greenhouse and they used this green wall material. I guess it's a marble, maybe. Is this marble? I don't I don't know what this wall is. Oh, here we go. So they're calling this cast iron. And then So they just made this solid cast iron and this one they made glass. I like it. I think we should change the floor if we're going to go this route. Uh, or maybe we keep it the same. But the the theory is that it's just a nice room to to sit in and enjoy the outdoors. So, sure, maybe, maybe a little table. I don't know. I don't have a good idea for this one yet. Good call on the glass wall. Let me see if they have... Do they have other walls? Oh, they have a glass wall. <laughs> or change the greenhouse wall so that. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking I may actually do that. Um, all right. Yeah, I think... Because I think this is just too much glass. So... I just don't know. Let's go to the greenhouse. We'll do the greenhouse first and adjust from there. So let's change this to the glass walls for sure. Hopefully it keeps those windows there. It didn't. Sick. Thanks for that. Uh, 
So let's go to the windows and type green. Oops. Sometimes it takes a second to register. Cool. Oh, can you not put windows on these? Oh. Okay, so that's why it didn't make the uh, greenhouse walls this because you can't put the windows in it. But that's fine. I think we just leave the walls like that. We don't add the windows. So there's that. All right, let's, let's look at the plants because these are some sad plants. That's probably in utility, I imagine. Uh, do they make, do these change when you, no, they're all the same kind of plant. All right, I will just slide this over for now. I like this one. A hanging plant. It's literally just hanging straight down. Big lawn with hydrangeas. Mm, don't think so. I may have to add some pots. Yeah, we're going to have to add some pots and then put the plants in. Do they have fruit trees? I think they do. Uh, and we will actually check in a second. That's a great idea. Oh, here we go. Oh, it looks like they... Yeah, they've got some... So this one changes. Cool. Oh, man. All right, so as you can tell, I don't have a greenhouse and never have, so <laughs> I don't really know what a greenhouse should look like. Um, but we're going to do our best here. I will add some lights later. Because, like, part of me just... Oh, jeez. Part of me just wants to put straight, you know, planted pots here. But that doesn't feel very greenhousey, I imagine. Like I feel like the best part about nature is it's chaotic. The 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 way it's just, you know, whatever it wants to be and just throwing everything in a pot. I don't know. But it also looks refreshing. <laughs> I'd hang out in here. Um so I'll just delete that for now. There's no way all these plants are staying. Maybe they are, but... Alright, so let's look at the fruit trees, which I'm pretty sure... Yep. Alright. Let me find a empty pot real quick. I think they were just using this one and then adding stuff to it. That's too big. Is that a right size? We can raise it up a little. Oh, we got a fruit tree. We got a fruit tree. All right, that can go in the corner here for sure. Good call on the fruit tree. Got to make sure it's not going through the wall. Let's slide it this way. All right, let's look at that. Yeah, there we go. All right, we've got a fruit tree in there. Let's see. Um, can you put some tables around and plants on top? I imagine that's a great idea. Um, what do you think? Right in the middle? Like maybe, you know, they kind of circle around it and work on the different areas of the table. I need the greenhouse experts to get in here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Probably. Oh, I like this table for it. Oh, yeah. It's always in the wrong spot. All right. Plant. Uh... Oh no. Slide this over. Looks like they already had a pre potted tree, fruit tree. Why did that not pop up earlier? Do 
a little bit of a chaotic thing going on here. Okay. Um, this room has to smell so fresh. Turn it just a little, a little more. Okay. I haven't even gotten to the creature part yet. Cool. Uh, what do we got? A pumpkin. I don't think that's going to grow in here out of nowhere. Big planter. All right. All right, so... I may just have to add some little pots on here to put the plants in. We can adjust some of these sizes as we go. Throw a couple of these in. Alright, now let's put some plants. Bring this down some. Whoa! Didn't want to do that. Make that a little bigger. Make this one a little bigger. And make this one a little smaller. There we go. Now it's at the plants. Oh, definitely got to make one a mushroom one. I like the mushroom. Cool. Uh, I don't know. Let's go with... What do we want? Some nettles? Oh, growing some lettuce. Yeah. Uh, Majesty Palm. That one's cool. Is there a Groot option? There's not in here, but hold on. Let's see if somebody has made a Groot. <laughs> Token object. All right. So we add secret rats and in this instance, a secret Groot. All right. Where is secret Groot going to go? You know what? I think we make him not so secret. I think we... Hold on, hold on. Wait for it. <laughs> All right. It's a not-so-secret Groot. I mean, it's still secret. I'm not going to tell anybody he's there. But... And if you're only ever going to see a top-down version of the map, there's no way you know that's Groot. But I always share pictures. So Groot is in. All right. More plants. We definitely don't want to add a tree. How about some flowers? Definitely flowers. Okay, I don't know why these flowers are so large. What is happening? Oh my gosh. It's it's part of his creature collection. I didn't even think about the fact that... Yeah, it's a tree ant. <laughs> he grows this little creature in his uh, <laughs> out in his greenhouse. Make him really small and put him in the mushrooms. We could do that. Uh, actually, I'm going to change then. We can do that. I'm going to change those mushrooms, though, to the single ones. They have some cool glowing ones, by the way, but I don't think those are the ones I'm going to put in. There we go. So I'll change it to a single one. To a couple of those. Make this one a little bigger. And then slide him in because I still want him to be oh no what what what's in the way okay it's still got to make sense all right and I still don't know if this makes sense. There we go. 
There we go. Little guys hanging out with the mushrooms. <laughs> That's actually really funny. I'm glad someone actually had a Groot. <laughs> I've been studying the effects of the enlarged spell on my daisies. <laughs> All right, so then now we just need another plant here. See, why are these so big? All right, something happened because they didn't used to be this big. I don't know if maybe an update happened and they never fixed it. Is that the base? Yeah, that's the base of it. What? Huh. Well, that's annoying. Oh, there we go. Little Lily. We've got a hidden rat and a semi-hidden Groot. Who knows what else we're going to end up with here. All right, flower there. I'm sure this is another massive flower here for some reason. I don't know why the leaf is like that. <laughs> yeah, I can't hide that leaf. Uh, I guess that works. All right. Just a couple more plants here. Massive daisies, apparently. Because why not? <laughs> I don't know what happened. These did not used to be this large. Sounds like they've got something to fix. Alright. There's that. Oh, I like the sunflower. Oh, of course. Sunflowers do actually get massive, though, so... That one at least makes sense to be this large. Maybe not in here, but <laughs> let's tone it down a bit, huh? And I want the flower to face outside. I know you can't control the plants and what direction they're growing. I guess you can with the light, but. One last little flower. I like the trumpet bush. All right. Cool. Table full of plants. We got potted plants all over the place. Uh, and I think we should add... Uh, we should remove something here and just add one more different big thing here. Maybe... Yeah, they had a whole bunch of potted plants here. <laughs> oh, I do like the, the long planter. But then I got to go add all the plants to it. I just stopped adding plants. All right, that's going to be good enough for the plants. So I don't think we need any, like, fires or lights in here. Uh, because, theoretically, the greenhouse should be doing its own thing. What do they call a circadian for them? Or is, I don't remember, whatever the light thing is. Sun going up and down. All right, so we'll keep that as is. So back to this room here. We're changing these walls back, I think. Do, do. What walls are these? Looks like they're three panel. If you make the other room, make it with a fountain. I feel like there should be a fountain in here, though. 
I don't know if I'd put a fountain in that one, because if you're trying to relax, maybe you don't want that, the splashing from that. But then maybe you like it. I don't know. Maybe you like the sound of it. I'm not really sure. How about drinking? Okay, maybe maybe get a drink in there. I like this fountain. Oh, there needs to be a fountain. In all honesty, I feel like the fountain needed to be kind of central. <laughs> Alright, if I move this table, I think it'll move everything. I hope. Oh, nuts! Alright, I'm not doing all that. I really like the fountain. Is it just out of place there? Seems kind of out of place here. Ugh. All right. We delete these. We bring the fountain here. All right. And we make it a little bigger. Yeah, take up more room. Oh, that was bright. All right. Fountain definitely stays there. Now, for this one, we're reverting the walls back to the wood one. I don't know. It's I think it was these three panel ones. Do these wall match? And then we're going to add big, massive windows, I think. But we got to see what the best windows to add are. Best of skeletal cloth, rock, ruined, iron, bay. What's ornamental? I wish it didn't have this white... It's kind of got like a screen feel to it. I don't know. <laughs> Is that just creepy? It's just a single couch in the... <laughs> All right. Uh... That's a massive fountain. Way too large. This is a drinking fountain? Is that what it says? Oh, no. No. Which one was the drinking? Oh, it was this one. Maybe we get rid of that window and put one of these. Can you make it run? Oh, you can change the liquid to blood and stuff. <laughs> Lava. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like it either. I did not like it after I said it there. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I really like the fountain either, though. But I guess this... I don't really know what I want this room to be. Is it just like a... You know, kind of another room to talk to people in, maybe. Maybe. Should they be closed doors or open doors to get in? I like the two doors. I'm thinking we... I'm thinking we just put some comfy chairs in here. Oh, that's right. We don't have comfy chairs in this flipping thing. I do like these chairs, but I feel like they're just blocking the area. All right, so I'm thinking what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a rug here, and then I'm going to put a table with, like, cups and uh, a pitcher and stuff for water. So that way it's kind of, you know, a secluded area to talk, but I may have to change the doors to closing rather than just open arches. Yeah, I'm liking that. So, we're going to put the rug here. People will be able to come in, hang out around the fountain, enjoy the outdoors, talk to each other, converse. All right, table. 
So we just want a nice table to put. Okay, that's massive. Uh, way too large. There we go. So now we'll put, you know. Oh, no. Come on. Did I not center all this? I thought I did center. I guess I didn't. Uh, I'm so bummed I have to go clean out that refrigerator when I'm done this. That is not going to be fun. All right. I mean, I guess other things could be on this table, too. Cutlery, no, drink. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So we definitely want... I guess these. Why is it so big? Everything is so big. Am I missing something? These are five foot squares. So if I, look, this is a five foot square here. Let's put it on the floor. All right, if we just compare the size of this, uh, I can see the squares better out here. You're telling me this picture is like a foot and a half wide? That's massive. I don't know what happened to all the sizings here. Oh, in your car? Oh, no. Oh, that's awful. At least mine were solid surfaces I can wipe. Oh, that's such a bummer. Oh, man. That hurts my heart just thinking about. I can't imagine. Oh, it's showing me cupboards. I was looking for a cup. There we go. Cup with saucer. We're going to put a few of these. And then I feel like a fancy tray? Do they have centerpieces? Centerpiece? Oh. I feel like, if anything, this should go on the dining room table. Nope. There. All right. Uh, okay, maybe just a little uh, thing of flowers again. <laughs> Potted plants. Give me a small potted plant. Um, what is this? Oof! Nope! 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 Yeah, I think I agree. I mean, I like the idea of being able to just kind of stand around it and talk about it, but it feels like it just stands out. I agree. My <laughs> Bond University. <laughs> All right, so we'll put that window back. So we can still do like a loungy area. They just don't have the right seating for it. All the way around. Oh, it is. This is more of a center thing. What's this? Let's look here. <laughs> so we have the guest bathroom with the Mona Lisa, and then this way we have the community urinal. <laughs> All right. So. I don't know. What do we. What do we want to do with this room? I'm going to leave this room for now because it's ticking me off. Let me know if you come up with a good idea for that room. I don't have one. All right, bedroom time. He's got two closets. That's fine, but I feel like they would both be the same. He wouldn't have two different closets. 
the art piece can stay, I guess, but we'll figure out where that's going later. This is just out of place. Oh, the clock's cool. Would the clock be over here, you think? Would he have a clock in this room? No. Maybe. Maybe in this room. Where did that just go? I hope it just disappeared and didn't go somewhere I don't want it to be. But it looks like it needs to be bigger. So that's the thing. Uh, maybe, but if you think about it, because this is, the bed here is 10 feet wide and 10 feet long. So realistically, that's a massive bed. <laughs> right? Like, I think I'm looking at the squares correctly. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. No, the bed is, I guess, proportionately accurate. But we can't make it a little bigger. Because why wouldn't he have a bigger bed? There you go. Alright. So he has a pretty large bed for him. We talked about this last time. Yeah, I think the the I think that I was mistaken for it being overly large. Um Talked about it last week, being fancy is when your stuff doesn't touch the wall. I almost feel like I should bring it away from the wall. But <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna put this here. Maybe here. Here. I'm gonna put it there. And then I'm gonna put a mirror to the left of that. So we'll put this here. And I do want to put double doors out to the I guess I want I think I want to match the fancy doors. Yeah. So he's gotta lock two sets of doors at night <laughs> if he wants to keep people out, but so he's got his own little Oh, should I put a little window here too? So put a little window there. So you can see without having to go out there. I like that. And I want to put this tree here. We're putting a tree. What kind of tree do we want right outside of these two windows? So they do have, so speaking of the secret wall doors, they do have secret doors. The problem is, especially when you're doing top-down maps, which is typically what I do, you don't see it. It just looks like a normal door. You, when you're in the game and you can actively open it and close it, it's kind of cool because you're seeing this fake door open up and close. But it's pointless because you can't do any of the stuff that you can do in-game as like an active map when you're playing. And you can't do that as a face-down map that's just an image. So they have them, but they're kind of pointless to put in the maps. I'm thinking we're going to... That's a large tree. I mean, I feel like I must need to make it larger just to fit over top. Because I do like the idea of a tree being kind of the centerpiece of this little roundabout. But it can't be going into the house. And, oh, no, we definitely can't. That's going to block everything. Oh, no. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe this is where a fountain can go. A, a little bird fountain. Do they have a cooler one? They have this one. It says drinking fountain. I mean, I don't think it really matters. Mm, lava font, no, no, no. Because all these are going to be too big for the space. I could do this one again. Yeah, maybe I'll just stick with what I know looked good. Uh, so you can change the different waters? 
Interesting. Alright, so we'll make this one a bigger fountain. Do a little top down here to get it centered. So maybe he can sit at the window and watch the birds come hang out at the fountain. Uh, I do want to make it a bay window. Okay, so we don't want to make it a bay window. I'll make this one a bay window, though. Although I did want to copy that <laughs> that double window there. Ah! All right. So put that here. And should I... Should I put one here? Yeah. Make it the centerpiece of the yard. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to make a bigger one because we got a whole courtyard to fill out here. So maybe like this guy. Uh, maybe there. And let's just look at the terrain real quick. Can we paint it like a greener? If I make it dirt and then put the green over it, does it? No. It's kind of hoping you can really see through it. Wow, that's some pristine grass we got there. And then we're definitely going to be putting some benches out here. It, it looks like turf. <laughs> see what benches we got. I don't think we want a wooden bench. Marble's too much. I mean... Hey, what's going on? How you doing, Blitz? Glad to uh, glad to have you here. No hard feelings if you got to go watch your other friends, but appreciate having you here. We're uh, we're working on. Oh no, not there. That was silly. We're working on a. Oh, actually, this one doesn't work either. You guys just let me put that there. What were you thinking? Uh, we're working on a map that uh, someone came up with in my post over the week. That it's a wizard that's out of town, and he left his apprentice in charge of the house. And while he was out, this wizard who has a pretty fine collection of creatures and animals, uh, the apprentice somehow, some way, managed to let them all free. <laughs> and they are running rabid through the house. So the apprentice has come running looking for someone to help him get these creatures back inside before the wizard finds out. But I haven't even gotten to the creature part of things yet, so plenty of time here. I don't know. Is this too many benches? Feels like too many benches. We got doors, fountains. We definitely need some. Definitely need some plants around here. Some actual plants this time, though. Now the potted plants had these here. What do they look? Oh, these could have been cool. Why are they so large? Oh, I do like these little ground flowers, whatever they are. Hanging plant, hanging plant. Let's see. Alright, so if we just minimize this planter then. Oh, you clown. You clown. All right, so then what we're going to do, instead of all of this... Are you kidding me? There we go. We are going to paint it. Paint some nature. Too much. We need to do less. Bigger area, smaller amount. Oh, these are big plants. Oh, is it painting moss on the walls, too? Why is it like those weird squares? 
It doesn't even look natural. Cool with the little flowers growing around everywhere. That looks fun. Okay. All right, now we're getting somewhere. That one's going to have to go, but let's delete that. And then maybe like a very, very slight dirt path walkway. Because he comes out here often, I imagine. But not enough to like ruin the grass. Oh, I forgot I did put the grass here, so I think that's going to kind of... Oh, yeah, it's... We'll cover it up a little with the... Well, I mean, yeah, we'll... That's too much. It's too much. Go up to like three quarters of the way. All right. Uh, one dirt spot's not terrible. All right. Just got a little courtyard there with some benches. I definitely would like a tree. Oh, you could put spider webs. That's fun. I want a tree, but I don't want something that's going to block any views. I mean, I could go back to the fruit tree. Beautiful. Appreciate it. Try in here. This is way more difficult than I imagined. Oh, I keep forgetting that door's there. Wow, these this door placement's really getting in the way of the trees I could be putting. All right. Too many benches anyway. I mean, this is probably just blocking the window, to, to be fair. But you can see around the trees. No, not that tree. <laughs> nope. Nor. How about a lemon tree? How about a bigger lemon tree? Alright, cool. And how about another lemon tree? Because I think that's going to be the only kind of tree that doesn't get in the way. Well, besides an orange tree. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Should this be here? What do you think? I think it stays. Fine by me. All right, we've got courtyard. Back to the bedroom. So we put the door in to get out to the courtyard. We've got this big closet here. I'm down with the single windows. He's not going to want to just let anyone be able to come in right away. But, I mean, also, he's got a lot of things that aren't really stopping people. <laughs> Let's get rid of that light, which we'll get back to. He's got his chest uh, that... I imagine he would keep probably closer to him. So let's put this here. Yeah. And then we'll put a little end table. And maybe another... Uh, how about a desk? on? Oh, he had a mirror in here already. That's funny. I don't think he needs a window there. So, what if we put a desk in? It's a very cluttered desk with massive books.
Oh, we need a bookshelf in here. We need bookshelves everywhere. Every wizard place should have a bookshelf. That's just all there is to it. All there is to it. Uh, which are in cupboards. Now, where should the bookshelf be? That's a great question. Right here. Next to the desk. All right, and I don't really know why this seat is here. Don't need that. Uh, at least one bookshelf per room. Yeah, I totally agree. I'm actually going to end up definitely going back. I know I mentioned putting bookshelves in here, so I'm for sure going to have one in here, if not a couple. Uh, could maybe have some in here. Uh, those bookshelves contain books all about... Um, relaxation and they're like self-help books make you better then maybe slide one over here all about botany <laughs> uh where was i with the table i was putting an end table in here where where's that end table at it's like a hexagonal end table. There we go. I don't like that one though. Give me a, give me a better one. Give me a better option. Oh, give me one with a candle on it. Hey, there we go. And a massive spell scroll? Map case? Gundren's map case? Shout out. And Elver players. <laughs> Every bookshelf is just going to have its own character. What's this bookshelf about? Alright. So now he's got a little end table. Which, I'm thinking the candle would be out because he's not home. Why would the candle be lit? What is going to go in this corner over here? I mean, it could be more books, but... I'm just going to put another closet. Who knows what's in this closet? That's for the DM to decide. <laughs> uh, I don't have a grandfather clock, so the clear answer to that would be no. I do not want to wake up to... Good call on the animated armor. All right, I'm in. Uh, I would not want to wake up to the grandfather clock. And actually, my grandfather has one. And we grew up... Uh, like, when we'd go over there, we'd hear a chime every hour. And I will say, thinking about it now that you asked that... All pictures... <laughs> Um, I would not want to wake up to that now that you have asked the question. There's no way. Oh, this has to go. Okay. So, yeah, we'll put this armor here so that way the DM has the option of making it an animated armor. I like that. Great idea. All right. Uh... I think we're at a good spot for this room for now. It leaves it well open to the DMs, how they perceive it to be. So that's good there. This can see that. Oh, we got to put a window here. Because the next and probably close to the last step is going to be the lighting. Uh, give me that bookshelf. Whoop. So, if we're adding more bookshelves, definitely here, and then I guess on the other side. Nice. Uh, if we're putting a window on this side, definitely got to put one here. 
Okay. I'm liking this. This is turning out nice. Ooh, should we put a carpet here? I feel like we need a carpet here. I feel like we definitely need a carpet here. Where did I put a carpet for? We're going to match the carpets. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I guess let's put a painting in the dining room at least. At least. Put some sigils in here. What is this? Is that just a, it's like a walk through arch? I feel like this would be in the doors and not here. Rugs, paintings. Yeah, we'll go with rugs. I mean, paintings. Uh, what is that? Oh. I guess that's probably not the best picture for a dining room, eh? Okay. Cool. I'm liking it. Now we just got to go add a heck ton of candles around here. Although it's pretty close. One there, one there. And then I guess... Ah... I really did put these windows in a rough spot for candles. All right. I think I nailed that one. And... Oh, this makes it... Okay. All right. So they're going to be a little off-centered to avoid that beam. All right. Yeah. So there's some candles to light the way that way. The four candles here, I feel like, are enough. Because I probably could put them above the benches, but I don't want it melting on anybody. It's the armoire de Narnia. <laughs> nice. <laughs> See, this just opens up a world of campaign possibilities. You could now run Narnia. <laughs> Okay, good. Uh, now just candles all around in here. Oh, okay, I was going to say. So my understanding, what's cool about this with Foundry is that uh, it, I don't really get it, but it works with the lighting in Foundry. You can mess with the lights on the map or something i'm not totally sure but uh that's one of the benefits of dungeon alchemist is you get whatever that capability oh i forgot to finish up this table whatever that capability is which sounds pretty sweet all right now i think i need to do the same thing here oh no you're gonna get an ad i wasn't fast enough Oh, we're good. Saved it. Look at that. Um, so I really don't want to put this on that beam. So we got to put it here. Okay. Kind of cool with that. We don't need too much light in here. I'm not putting any light in here. We need a carpet in the dining room. You think so? Under the table? I guess... So does the carpet go past the chairs? I don't really know. I don't think any of my dining rooms have ever had a carpet. So I'm not sure. I'm willing to put one. 
Just let me know if it needs to, the sizing wise, it needs to extend past where the chairs are, or is it just the size of the table? The lighting in here is fine. Although I'd probably add. What do you mean, no? Oh, come on. You're gonna make me fix this manually. Thank you. It's that low? Why isn't it higher? Oh yeah, these need to go way up. Okay. Okay, um, I need to put candles in his room. Collision's back on. Oh, this suit of armor are you, is in the way? Are you kidding me? Lots of lighting there. Good. There is no lighting here in the... Over in the corner by the door. I guess I could get rid of that window, but... Yeah, I don't know if the candle... I, so we could justify the candles not being out by the fact that the... Um, that the apprentice has technically been overseeing the house and keeping it going... Maybe, like, you know how you keep the lights on when you're not home to make it look like you're still there? So, it all depends. I usually will do, like, a nighttime version and a daytime version when I upload the map. So, I could always put a version with candles on and candles off, depending on how people want to run it. Now, what about this room here? I don't think you need four sets of candles in here. I did also not mean to put that there. Um, I think I'm going to put two sofas here. I don't know why. <laughs> One of them comes with a skull on it, which makes no sense. All right, I'll just keep that where it's at. One little couch outside the door. That's fine. I think this door should open in. Why can I not rotate it? Oh, there we go. Oh, nope, that doesn't make any sense. All right, well, it opens out. Okay, so now I just got to finish up this table. And the top version of this map is finessed. Um, what about like a big fancy, yeah, like a silver platter that's just kind of ready for if there's anything he's got to lay out. And then maybe just a little plant. Oh yeah, I need a pot there. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna make me go to the plant section come on come on actually i don't even know if it's in the plant section i don't think it is where are plant pots shoot utility maybe is there a nature section of utility dungeon oh no I could go copy it from the other room, I guess. There we go. Alright, let's get these straightened out. 
There we go. Yeah, I've started getting, trying to get in the habit of just using search now too, because remembering where everything at is near impossible. Remembering where everything is at is near impossible. All right, so this is kind of a room just set up to entertain whenever that time comes. So we'll leave that as is. But I think that takes care of everything. There's candles lighting up everywhere. We've got the courtyard done. We keep this room dark. I don't know if there's anything we want to put here. Maybe some double windows. But I don't really know if there's anything we want to put in this room. This is more of just like a secondary place. So then I guess you really don't need this. Um, yeah. Yeah, there is there is a lot of content here. And they're constantly adding more, which is cool. I mean, they're definitely updating. that The round rooms, they, they're currently... The next update should have round rooms. And I am so excited to have that option. Where does the apprentice sleep? Uh, maybe... Hmm. It's a great question. Maybe he doesn't live here. Maybe he comes here every day. It's not his home. <laughs> AKA, I hadn't really thought about that, but now I've just decided he doesn't live here. He just traverses here. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to leave this room kind of empty. I will put the candles. Oops. All right. So just an empty room, like a second barrier to get here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, he needs, he needs some torches out here. And then we're going to make a path. I think that to get here, there's going to be a pathway across the river. He's going to go this way. Round rooms would be nice, but I'm looking forward to multi-select and multiple. So I agree with... Uh, multi-select is going to be massive. Multi-building floors I don't think is going to matter. Because again, it's not like you can utilize Dungeon Alchemist in your game. So I don't think that it will change anything having multiple floors i think it would be nice to be able to um like if i could say put a second map to the left here and then start building a second floor there that would be huge so i don't have to have separate maps for separate maps um but being able to stack a floor on top of another one i don't think it will fix anything because the top floor is just going to hide it you use it in the game all the time. You use Dungeon Alchemist in your game all the time? Just curious. Uh, I need... Where's the wall mounted torches? There we go. I'm bouncing between this stream and work. Did you have lighting in the courtyard? Uh, I do not have lighting in the courtyard. I imagine it's kind of like the greenhouse where there wouldn't really be any. But we could absolutely put these torches I just put up. They would look good here. Like maybe right outside the door. Uh, except that I don't really have room there. Maybe one there. Just to kind of light it up. Um, I stream to my group on Discord and screencast my Dungeon Alchemist. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't really heard of many people using this to play the game on. So, I mean, that's massive. I guess that does make sense if you kind of do a top-down view here, and then you can put in their tokens. Uh, yeah, if you were to, for instance, place their characters. Oh, come on. Let me turn off collisions. <laughs> so, yeah, you could kind of place them in there. That's not a bad idea. I, it's, I, so I use, uh, Albert Rodeo to stream my maps for, like, all the Fog of War and everything, um, so I don't think I would use this unless they added that capability. If they add, if they basically turn this into a VTT where you can add, you know, like, area of effect stuff and use a Fog of War and all that kind of stuff, 
then it would definitely become user friendly um, for acting as a VTT. But for now, just without all those capabilities, I just use Albear. And don't take this as me knocking Dungeon of Alchemist, by the way. I love this program. I love it. They, they're not, I'm not blaming them for anything. A fake fog of war with blank abstract blocks. Oh, oh, interesting. So when he says he fakes fog of war with black abstract blocks uh, right here, you can use these. Uh, you can raise them up, make them big. You can, you can make them an image so they don't just look like big green blocks. <laughs> but that's not a bad idea. So then you can just cover everything up. Oh, come on with it and then as you go you just delete it Whoop! reveals the room that's a pretty good idea shout out to anybody that wants to use dungeon alchemist for that solid idea you just turn them black yeah i mean I, it might be cool to make them like a smoky effect or something but yeah i would definitely probably do the same thing just turn it black colored and call it a day <laughs> All right, so I think we're going to have a little bridge right here to go over here. And then I imagine the path to wherever he goes takes him out of town there. So let's look for a bridge. I mean, I don't think we need to go uber fancy with it. Well, maybe we do. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do. This one's wicked. Put these trees here. Let's shrink the bridge just a tad. Turn it a little more. Eh, it's just too long. Um, never heard of Dungeon Alchemist or Albert Rodeo before tonight. Sounds like it has some <laughs> homework. So, uh, yeah, this is Dungeon Alchemist. That's all I've been doing all night, so I won't go too much into that. Albert Rodeo is a VTT. It's a free one, which I haven't really dabbled in Roll20 or Foundry. They may have free versions. Well, I know Roll20 definitely has some free versions. Um, but I just started off on Albear Rodeo, so I don't want to compare them because I haven't done the other ones. But you essentially can upload whatever maps. It can also be animated, so you could get the animated version of this map and upload it. And then you can go in and adjust the grid size to match the grid size of Albear Rodeo. Um, then you can add Fog of War to it. If your characters say that they do some kind of spell that's an area of effect, you can mark that on the map, so that way they can constantly see where it's at. You can add tokens and a whole bunch of other stuff. I because I do a physical TV that I lay them on and people play in person, I don't use any of the tokens or anything. So I primarily just use it for the Fog of War, which I think is why I went with Owlbear right away, just because it was so simple. Uh, there wasn't much to it. If you're playing online, I think the other ones have a lot more options for you to play with. So just stuff to look at when you're, when you're trying to decide which one works best for whatever it is you're doing. I need a shortened version of these. Otherwise, I have to widen the river up a bit. There we go. Perfect. All right. I want it to go straight. I don't like it. I don't like diagonal here. I don't know why I decided to try that. Yeah, I think the uh, Albert nailed the Fog of War, whatever you want to call that, the task or whatever it is. They crushed it. It's so simple. You have so many different ways to do the Fog of War. Um, but again, I haven't used the other one, so I don't want to compare it because I don't know how the other ones work. They may have a much better system for all I know. Oh, nuts. I forgot this grass like looks different. Oh, too much dirt. All right, that's 
going to be good enough there to at least blend again. And we'll minimize this. We'll increase this. And there we go. Make our path to wherever it is he goes for, I don't know, supplies. Oh, there we go. That's how we get our dirt back. Perfect. And then we will erase these trees so it's a little more obvious. All right. And we'll draw here. Looks like we still have more grass and stuff in the way here. Uh, I just person does it Agamus tonight. How do you like it? What other map? So, uh, what other software do I use? I don't really use any. The only thing I used prior to this was GIMP, which is essentially an open source version of Adobe uh, Photoshop. And that was an absolute nightmare for a worse product in the end, just because it took so long. Now, granted, I've been doing this now for uh, two and a half-ish hours, but at the same time, I mean, the quality that you get from a program made for this is tremendous. There's no way I would have done anything like this in even Photoshop, no matter what I had. So this is really the only one I've used, and I love it. I think it's amazing. The other ones, um, I, I can't think of any of the names of them, but there's a, uh, a guy that I watch on YouTube a lot, uh, and it is Power Word Spill. He's great. Highly recommend. Go check him out. He did an overview of a bunch of different map making tools and the benefits of each. Um, and a lot of them were like 2D maps. So if you're if you like that style more than this 3D or animated maps, that was one option. Um, it was just a whole bunch of different stuff that he went over. So Dungeon Alchemist was one of them. I already had it prior to that, but I was happy he reviewed it because I any support they get is great. That just means they're going to keep working on things if they get enough support. So, um, but I think you're really going to like it. It's a learning curve. I'm not going to say it's a massive learning curve. You just find the objects and put them on. It's the Sims of, of map making tools. Um, but what I really, really like about it is it's a one-time purchase. I am so over subscriptions. So the second I saw it was like a, what, I think it was like a $50 purchase or something. I didn't even think twice because I mean, a what $5 subscription, $5 a month of subscription. I only play D and D maybe once or twice a month. After 10 months of paying for that, I've already paid the same amount I would have paid for Dungeon Alchemist. And, you know, it's... Am I using it that much? I don't know. When I first started out DM a couple years ago, I used mostly Photoshop and Illustrator for maps and battle maps. Discovered Dungeon Alchemist and never looked back. Yeah, I totally agree. Totally agree. Because the quality is just tremendous. And they're, like I said, they're constantly working on things. We were talking about it earlier. I think you were in maybe, Casey, I'm not sure. But they are working on being able to make round rooms which is massive. So if you're going to have like a wizard's tower, <laughs> you, you can actually make that aside from the not having the multiple stories. But yeah, they, they're coming out with a lot of fun stuff. All right, I think I'm going to call it on the top portion of the building here. Because uh, that's got a lot of stuff to work with, which I really like. There's a lot of rooms to check out, a lot of different rooms that the creatures can be. Um, but now, I want to do it now. Yeah, let's, let's, let's at least start it. So, uh, down the steps is where he keeps all of his creatures. Can you open this door? No. Uh, down the steps is where he's going to have his, all of his creatures. So I'm going to save this real quick. Um, and we'll call it Creature Chaos first floor put some rabbits out there steam workshop assets rabbit i don't tend to like to put uh like live objects in here just because i mean they would move they would do things uh your dm might have to find a good way to explain why there's rabbits there or you know 
if they say I try and shoot the rabbit, and then they do, and now the rabbit's still on the map. So I tend not to put live objects there, but this is just for fun, and this was your guys' map, so I'm in. There's two rabbits here. And I'll put some on this side. How about one here and one on here? They just kind of look like big rocks. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Let's at least go that way. There we go. Okay. All right, cool. Let's save it. File save. Now, a new map. We'll make this one 30 by 30 because it's not going to be as big. And this is, we're going to call it cave because it's going to be underground. No weather, no water, cave. Sure, sure. Uh, when I made my first stream map, by the way, this is just a fun story. When I made my first stream map, I, like three or four weeks ago, totally did not save the Dungeon Alchemist file when I finished. Luckily, I downloaded all the images and everything, but I was so upset when I came back to open it up and I deleted it. Oh, it was a bummer. All right, so we're going to do this one in rooms. If you have not used Dungeon Alchemist, which I know, uh, Casey, we were just talking about it. So you can go into the terrain here and you can actually carve out caves to make natural cave systems if you'd like um i did that in my last stream i think if you just want to go see how it works you can check out like a small part of that and it shows you um but we're not going to be doing that here uh we're going to be doing this more as he i mean i don't really know you know make it make sense because it's dungeons and dragons the wizards somehow made perfect room shapes in an in underground i don't know uh, but we're just going to use actual rooms and it will carve it out for us so, let's just do a hallway for now, and we'll find out where those stairs come down in a second. Oh, it, it's not carving it out. Hmm. I may have lied to you. Hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Huh. Now, I thought... Interesting. I was under the assumption. Because now, for instance, if I put a room here. What is happening? Is it making organic rooms? That's why. Got it. Why did that happen? All right. We're back in action here. So now I think that it'll work. Yeah. Okay. I was not lying. <laughs> so it should carve it out. There you go. So it'll carve out a room now, uh, however we want it. So I'm going to make this flat for a second so we can get an idea. So the stairs are going to come down somewhere here. And then uh, we'll have it enter into, I don't know, maybe, because we may minimize this map a little bit. Maybe just like an open room here from the steps. And we'll just start there for a second. Let me find those steps real quick. Uh, am I missing something? Okay. So now they should have the version that I can put in that's like it's f from up top. Because this is what we put in up top. That's not what we want. We want the upper version. And it's not either one of these, I don't think. No. I thought it was this one, but this has railing. And it's massive. Uh... Uh, I feel like I'm not showing you very well how this is supposed to work. Is that really the only option? 
Yeah, this is what I was expecting, but just a, the dark brown version because they had the dark brown version up top, but whatever. All right, so this is the steps from up top that we'll just have to use. Can you color them? No. Huh. All right, so let's change this door out because I think it was a wooden door that it showed up top. Uh, yeah, he locks it from this side. Okay. I will keep the stone walls. I kind of like them. So, I'm thinking definitely some longer corridors to go to the different areas. He'll have like a little where he's doing research, a little area he's doing some research in. So, let's add this wall here. Or this room here little tunnel and then so maybe this will be his his kind of research lab whatever kind of research he's doing and then we'll do another offshoot tunnel this way to the different areas where he keeps the different creatures so we'll do an offshoot this way to a room so one of these, one of my thoughts as I was kind of trying to think of a good idea for these creatures that this wizard's keeping, I think that at some point your players, you know, maybe they're finding some tipped over cages and stuff like that that are open up. I think at some point your characters could come into a room where not all the creatures have come out. That's kind of, maybe looks like a jail cell. Um, and in the cells, maybe they see several owl bearers or something along the lines, but one of the cages is open. There's no proof that there was an owlbear in there, and that would be for the DM to decide, but at least that's going to add that tension that, okay, I'm seeing owlbears in all these cages, and I see one cage that's open, and there's no owlbear to be seen. Do we want to continue down this hallway? So I think that that might be a room like this. Uh, I think I just want to do a... just a, a room off of it, not a... Not a tunnel off of it. Yeah. All right. Well, that's going to have to be changed. Should I do 10 foot hallways? I think so. Let's do some 10 foot hallways. Whoop. Did I not click it? Oh, I just didn't... I didn't wait long enough. <laughs> yeah, that's my thoughts exactly. Uh, and you could... I mean, depending on the level of the party, you could make it whatever creature is locked in there that you want it to be. I don't know if I'd say it's a dragon, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll definitely use a broken door. So that's the thing I was trying to decide. Uh, so I don't know if I would want it to be broken anyway, because without it being broken, that leaves the suspicion that maybe it was just a room that was left open. If it's broken, it kind of leads to something broke out. But I'm also trying to think, you know, could it be something let these things out? They didn't necessarily break out, and I'm not saying it was The Apprentice, but did something let these things out and is that you know maybe that's the end game here is you come across whatever it is that's letting these things out you know maybe it's for good reason maybe you side with that thing i don't really know 10 foot hallway can let the creatures move out freely that's true fair you've convinced me 10 foot hallways <laughs> All right, uh, let's make this a little bit bigger. All right. And we'll just do a little, maybe a storage room to the side. Oh, I'm still editing this room. Uh, cancel that. Yeah, like being able to just make... <laughs> make a scenario as you're building on here is wild. 
Can you overlay your other map to see how you want the bottom floor should be? No. So you you can't, unfortunately. Um, so you just have to assume that this is kind of under the house and where it would be. Um, that would be the benefit of the double story ability in Dungeon Alchemist if they add that. Um, as, uh, was it Scruffy was talking about? Yeah, Scruffy. As Scruffy was talking about, um, kind of getting that visual of top down, even with two floors, maybe you could switch between the two. That would be huge, and especially if he's using it on the VTT, that would be amazing. Uh, but no, as is, there's no way to do it unless I were to export both maps and just slide them over each other, and then just kind of guess from there. Uh, but that's okay. We're underground. We're just gonna imagine it's wherever it is. Do a storage room here. And then, because I don't need to do anything massive. You can output the higher level as a map and overlay that. Yeah. It's D&D. You don't need the top and bottom floor to match players. We'll never know. I, I totally agree with you, Casey, except for when the party freaking splits. <laughs> and the party says... Uh, yeah, we're gonna go check out down here, and then the other ones are like, oh, well, I'm gonna go check out the fountain, because maybe there's something in it, and now all of a sudden, I'm controlling those two. And usually, I just do the storytelling part of it, so it doesn't matter, until they get to a point where there's supposed to be a fight, and I try to make there not be a fight, but then they do it anyway. It's just, it gets frustrating. <laughs> Alright, um... So... He's got his little office there. I'm thinking this is where he's going to keep the big cages. So that way, right off the bat, there's that tension that maybe something broke out. No, I totally get it. Wanting them to match up, I get it. It's, I'm not blaming any OCD for that. It just makes sense. <laughs> All right. I think we're going to add a little bit more. Now, luckily for these, I'm not going to do too, too much. No DM plan survives. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. The players are very good at derailing whatever it is <laughs> you had planned. Uh, I'll pause for one second for a fun storytelling moment. I The very first time that I thought I just ruined an entire campaign was actually at the very beginning of Storm King's Thunder. I There are two players in the game, both with having issues with their family members. One of them, their brother, had disappeared. The other one... Uh, didn't even know he had a brother, but he had these issues with his father. His father doesn't like him, but he wants his father to like him. So at the same time, both of them found out that their brothers had been captured by evil people. Now, the one whose father didn't really care for him, and he didn't know he had a brother, the father reached out to him telepathically and was like, hey, if you want to impress me, now's the time. You turns out you have a brother. You need to go save him right now. The other one, he had made this deal with the devil, and the, he, the devil wasn't liking what he was doing. And so the devil took his brother and then made it known at the exact same time. Now, I did this on purpose because I wanted to cause tension between the two parties, or between the two people, to find out who was going to say, no, we need to go save this person first. And turns out I picked the two wrong players to do this with because neither one of them would just say, all right, let's rush to yours, do it, and rush back. And they both immediately said, I walk the other way. And neither one would agree. So then the rest of the members were trying to figure out what they do, and they ended up splitting the party 50-50. The issue is, I made both of these, like, almost boss-ish fights, because they were supposed to be pretty important. And I was like, you guys are all going to die, because this was made for a party of six at fifth level, and now it's a party of three at fifth level, or whatever they were. They might have been sixth or seventh. So I ended up, I had one of the go their gods chime in and say basically you're not going to make it if you do this and so they ended up talking it over and one of them finally gave in but that was the scariest moment of my dm life is when i thought i just derailed this it was storm king's thunder so it's a pretty big book derailed and broke the whole campaign by messing up the uh, i just didn't give them enough info that it was a bad idea to split the party <laughs> i almost killed them all Ugh. man my heart was racing the good part is theirs was too, so at least I was evoking some emotions. Invoking? Evoking? I don't know.
Similar situation with me, a speakeasy in town where the one who found it alone was told to keep the secret of this place. The party almost split over a stupid bar. <laughs> Worth it. Oof. You could have the players find the large creature feasting on smaller creatures in the other room. Genius. Genius. So maybe this one isn't a storage room. Maybe this is like another small creature's room. Because I feel like the storage room doesn't have to be too big. I'll put one here. And it's just going to have, like, food. I'll put, like, barrels. Oh, shoot. I'm still editing this room. Um, I'll put, like, barrels and stuff that would clearly have the food in it. Nope. Alright. So that'll be the little storage room where he just loads up all the stuff. This will be a room at the end of the hallway. Sounds like you have a partial group in mind. I love it when the players argue and drama among themselves. This is called emergent content and help this DM fill time. <laughs> an imp in a cage screaming for help. <laughs> you, oh, this is how you adopt an imp. This is the, this is the plot hook to getting an imp as your own. You save him. <laughs> There's just carnage everywhere. All right, I'm going to edit this hallway one more time. Put one more little room over here. Uh, I clicked off of it. And we're going to add one more room. I'm just doing all hallway like type rooms here because I'm just going to go back and edit these anyway. Dummy. Okay, I feel like that's enough to at least go around and investigate. So, I hate how many of these things it puts in. And they never make sense. That's fine, I'll go back and clear them out later. All right. Oh, you know what? Let's just clear all rooms. It's the easiest way to do it. Clear all rooms. Uh, while we're on the topic of just funny stories, because that was fun to tell, uh, another one I had was, again, in Storm King's Thunder. They had taken... Not taken. They had gotten an airship <laughs> and uh there was this little cube that one of the one of the people had it had a whole bunch of little um pocket dimensions in it uh and inside of one was the immovable rod and he had no they the party has never had an immovable rod before so he didn't necessarily know what it was but so i described it at one night he's a he's a high elf so he only has to sleep for four hours so he's awake for everybody else he's playing with the cube by himself and he opens up a pocket dimension and inside of there is the immovable rod but i don't describe it as the immovable rod because they've got to figure out what it is first so i just describe what the rod looks like and part of the description is that the rod has a red button so this airship moving forward. <laughs> I'm sure you can see where this is going. I'm describing what's on the immovable rod, and I describe the red button. And he didn't take a second to think about it. He goes, I press the red button. And so he presses the red button, and immediately I describe it as the, ro the rod just stands in place and starts to go away from me. He says, I try to grab it, and I made him roll a, an uh, athletics check, I think. I don't remember. But he ended up not, he failed that and let go, which kind of good thing because the rod just tore through the entire ship, which I imagine would have dragged him with it, taking some more damage, but immediately just kind of lurched the ship forward, but its momentum kind of broke through the walls and the crew comes running down. <laughs> and it was so funny because I had to describe like one of the people kind of peering through the hole in the wall. <laughs> to see what happened and he was describing himself as just standing there watching what just happened himself and so then there was this argument between the crew and them and how they were trying to break the ship and all this uh but that was a very very funny moment because i thought he would have at least investigated the rod and tried to figure out what it did uh but yeah that was a lot of fun um 
Speaking of owlbears, my group just encountered and killed a pair of them in a ruined old tavern and a ruined old city. Then they found a pair of owlbear pups in the corner. Spent the last half of the session feeding them and communing with them until they fell asleep. Now they have pet owlbears, apparently. That's how my group in and out of this ended up adopting four hook horrors. <laughs> I love the obsession with players and getting to own creatures. It's amazing. Uh, arches. I think everything down here is just going to be arches and cage doors. I mean, I think he's going to have arches to his office space there. He's not going to have any reason to... I don't like that one, though. Let's go with that one. Or... Eh, more simple. There we go. And we'll do an arch here. And that's going to make it make more sense that once the animals break out, they can get places. Uh, so I'll make any room that has creatures in it. Well, mm, it depends. It de I have to decide, I guess, now if I'm making it to where the creatures broke out or if someone's letting them out. Because if they just broke out, I might want to make these arches too. I'm just going to make them arches. That's what I've decided. This guy is uber confident that nothing's getting out of here. He's taking all the precautions. Nothing's getting out of here. They're in cages. There's no way they get out of here. All right. We'll add another one down here. All right. So we've arched everything. And let me change the floors. Oh, my guy's had a pet kobold before that. He actually saved them on a couple of occasions. <laughs> Fun fact, I have yet to have a kobold in any of my campaign stuff ever. Not intentionally. I just have not. Um, so that's going to have to change because kobolds are just iconic. Could they be magically warded? Like, you put a ring, can walk through the archway, but the warding was damaged. That's not a bad idea. I absolutely uh, recommend doing something like that. Did you get to explore Donjon? I did a little bit. I didn't get I didn't get to dive into it yet. But funny fact, I was on Reddit the other day, and I saw Donjon pop up, and I immediately thought of you. <laughs> I was like, man, this is crazy. Twice in a week I've heard of this, and I never heard of it before this. Uh, all right, we need to add some arcane stuff in here. Because he's doing research, and you know we're going to put more bookshelves in here. Because we love bookshelves. Do -do 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 -do. Man, work's going to be brutal tomorrow. It's 11.13. I still have to clean out my fridge. For those of you that weren't here, right before stream, uh, I just bought a, not right before stream, I just bought a mini fridge, but I just bought a mini fridge two days ago. It's been cooling down. I loaded it up yesterday. And uh, <laughs> right before stream, my wife went to get a drink and she came upstairs and she was like, so there's a mess in the fridge. And turns out, I guess I made it too cold in there. And like... I don't know. I think it was like nine or ten. It looks like at least cans exploded in there. So I have a mess to clean up after the stream. Great. <sighs> so we're going to put a cage in here because I feel like he would have one in here for whatever it is he's looking at, studying, working on. And anything else we want to put here? Let's see what the arcane stuff they have in here for utility. Actually, let's go to the effects first. No, no, let's go back here. Utility, arcane, magic. Mm. Oh, this is like actual magic-y stuff. I need 
guess I gotta go back to furniture. Magical furniture. But why is it so big? You see what I mean? Some of this stuff's broken. Mini fridge maxi max. <laughs> yeah, I'm really not looking forward to cleaning it up. I was so upset. And it was right before the stream, too. I was like, I don't have time to deal with this. I have to work on it later. We need a chair. For sure need a chair in here. Alright. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Did they have, like, a hanging cage? Oh, the Iron Maiden cage is cool. Hey, there we go. And I'll get to the lights afterwards. Now, I'm not going to add much in the hallways. I mean, this is literally just a place to store things. You know what? I'm thinking about it. I feel like this needed to be a 10-foot thing to get things down here. Eh, he's a wizard. Enlarge, reduce. All right, so... I almost always have to scale down chairs, for example. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Why the scaling is the issue. But uh, I'm sure that that's something that they'll work on in the future. I mean, they're they're very responsive. I will give them that. They're very, very responsive with everything. So. So, for the cages, we need to do the cage walls, the iron walls here and we need to just add single walls what do we think three by three mm. uh, I should have made it one more but if I make it one more it's gonna interfere with this that's fine it's fine And delete the objects in the room. And now go back to adding the single walls. Alright, so we put the walls here. Which are very tough to see on this floor. I may change the floor just so you can see these walls. These cages. On the top down, they're very hard to see. Yeah. I'm going to change these floors to something a little darker. Uh, Cuz I don't think you can clear the floors. How about black marble? Sure. That looks kind of dark rocky. Oh, but I don't know if that really fixed. I mean, you can definitely still see the walls now, so that's good. All right, that's fine. So now let's go back to this. I'm adding the walls. And... Oh, look at that. Oh, no, that's silly, because you can't get to the back, too. All right, so it stays like that. Got it. So there's six big cages in here. Let me add the doors. All right. And then we can go to this door here. Uh, we want to reverse it. One door is open. So, yeah, it can be whatever beast you want. I mean, it's a 15 by 15 cage in here, so. Now we got to throw a whole bunch of cages in here. Uh, 
uh, but like various types. I don't know what this is. Oh, turn that off. This is an interesting cage. <laughs> well, how do you get in it? Is there a door? What am I missing? Is there a door to this? Oh, is that it? So you can only get in on the bottom there? This is an odd cage. I mean, it's cool looking nonetheless. But a very odd cage. Let's put that one there. I like this because it leaves it very open for interpretation to the DM. Whatever creatures you want to throw into a session, you can put them in here and make it make sense. It's for very <laughs> angry birds. <laughs> it's just the little red... It's a bunch of the little red birds running around. <laughs> Enclosed body. All right. Nah. Massive bird cage. All right, that one's going in here. That's the door, right? Yeah. All right, and then we can... Oh, it's just the same kind. Um, stacks of bird cages. I guess that would make sense that he's just got a couple piles of cages here. Because he's got to load the massive bird cages up somehow. Alright, a bunch of bird cages there. And I guess it depends on what you're shoving into it. Uh, I think we're going to put some more of these regular cages in here. <laughs> Should I just, just put this cage? <laughs> Dead set. It's the only thing in this room. <laughs> what is this guy keeping in here? <laughs> uh, make it a little bigger. A couple special cages here. These are large. And so I guess theoretically, I mean, these should be open. Maybe the one's closed, so that way, whatever's, uh... Yeah, it does look like, look like a weird religious thing. I agree. All right, we've got some open cages here. Uh, I want to load in some other. Stackable cages. Can you open these up? No. Uh, couple cages here. And... Oh, rib cage, that's funny. I like this little bird cage here. I think this should be in here, though. So this could be the bird room. Mixed with some other things, I guess, though. <laughs> he puts the air cocker in here. <laughs> uh... 
All right. And I guess in here should be like ravaged grain and everything. Like it shouldn't just be full. I mean, some of the barrels that are closed, sure. But I feel like it'd be nice to have like empty barrels in here or something. Let's get these at least not touching each other. So let's put the bag in. Bunch of bags. Yeah, like these would be empty. Oh, new subscriber, Peter! I don't know if you're here, but I appreciate it. It's so fun hearing that sound. You guys are awesome. Uh, I was mentioning it earlier, but uh, last week we hit 500 subscribers on screen, on stream, which was wild. Uh, and tonight, actually, let me see what we're at now. We are at 8, 851, nice. Earlier, like two hours ago when I said it, we were at 800, or 850. So we've gotten what, Peter, you were the one. I appreciate you. <laughs> but we're at 851, so I'm hoping that... I mean, if things keep going the way they are, I have another video that I've already shot. Uh, it's Heroes Haven related. I tend not to get the most views on those ones, but uh, it's Heroes Haven related. I just got to go through and edit everything and post that. And then I have a couple other really fun ones ready to go. I'm just torn because I want to make this thousand subscribers. If you don't know anything about YouTube and making money, uh, I'm not doing this to make money. I do have a job, but it, you know, it would be fun to actually make something off of this. But you need to have a thousand subscribers before you can get monetized. Uh, and 4,000 watch hours, which is a whole nother thing. Um, but so I'm torn because I do have a couple video ideas. Um, uh, Scruffy, you might have been the 850 then, maybe, uh, when somebody popped up. Uh, someone popped up. I don't know. Maybe I can't see your name. I'm not sure. Um, but, yes, you need 1,000 subscribers. So... Uh, I have a couple really cool video ideas that I think are going to get more views, but I don't know if I want to do it now to get to that thousand subscribers or do I wait until after I have the subscribers and I can make something on it, but then it takes me a little longer to get there. I don't actually know, so I'm torn. But um, one of the video ideas is I want to do a part two to my D&D &D setup. Uh, so I, that's my best video so far is my whole dungeon D&D &D setup area. And... A lot of people have asked me about the digital part of it, the screens, what do I run on it, how do I run a game on it, and all that. So I kind of want to do like a my setup part two where I do a digital dive. Everything involved in my TVs, my monitors, my laptops, how do I run it over, how do I connect it, maybe do like a little like semi-session to show how I work it. Um, so that's one that I think is going to answer a lot of people's questions, so I think it'll drive a lot of attention. Um, another one I want to do is somebody asked for um, a generator for uh, loot crates. Um, they got the idea off my Satchamon cards, and they said, hey, would you be able to do something like this? Uh, and I did it. I made what he wanted. So I do want to uh, maybe do something small on that, too, that's similar to my Satchamon video. Glad you found me on that one, Blitz. That one was another one that people really liked, so uh, I'm proud of that one, too. So, yeah, I'm just torn because... I want to make all these videos, but I just don't know the right time to make them. <laughs> this whole creator lifestyle is so new to me. I don't really get a lot of it. But hopefully one day I look back at this and I, I laugh at how I used to worry about the things like this. <laughs> that would be cool. Uh, that's just how I found you. I was watching and I said... Uh, let's see a second video of your setup. Yeah, I definitely... I, there's a lot of people that want to see more to the setup. There's questions that people have asked. Another one is about my map that I have on the wall. In my setup video, I said that... Uh, I showed off this big map, and I was like, oh, but I can't remember who I got it from or where. And, of course, I've had people asking, like, hey, did you ever find out where? So, uh, I did. It was from uprinting.com. I'll do a whole thing on that when I do that setup video. So my goal of setup video number two is to answer all the questions from setup video number one. Is that too in the way? I don't know. Maybe. 
Oh, we gotta put another bucket of meat down here. We're feeding owl bears. If anything, I feel like we already two of them. Alright. And I'm guessing that's probably all. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably going to be all the different containers I put in here. I could realistically stack up another couple, couple bags, but not really necessary. Yeah, and I'll definitely, uh, to to you, Casey, who said you were watching it and you saw it came alive, uh, but anybody, if anyone has any recommendations for the videos themselves, changes, things that stood out, like, you know, maybe you liked the video, but there was something that you wish I had changed about it, definitely let me know, because I'm new to all of this. So I'm taking, I mean, the people that are watching, I'm looking for your input because you're the ones that matter. So definitely let me know. All right. So now I just need to add some torches and that's probably going to be it because at this point it would be up to the DM to decide how it is you want to run it. So let's go ahead to the lighting situation here, wall mounted, probably lanterns and we're going to turn collisions on so that it sticks to the wall nicely. There and there, here and here, here and here. I don't really want to do it too close to each other. So maybe I just move it to the ends. That's fine. So fairly new to your channel. I jumped in with Here's Haven, so I haven't seen the setup videos, such my videos, etc. Well, welcome. Welcome. Um, I'm glad that you saw the Here's Haven stuff, because that one's... They're all, the Satchamon and the Here's Haven are the two that are most near and dear to my heart, just because I kind of... I di Whoa, I didn't even catch the door with here. That's funny. Um, just because uh, I, I didn't really, I wasn't doing this at the time I came up with them, so I actually made them for me to use. Uh, so those ones, those ones are close to my heart. Um, so glad you came in for the Heroes Haven one. But all the other stuff, I mean, I'm having so much fun just showing people how I do things, and I'm getting a lot of people that say that they're learning things from what I do, or they appreciate the the good advice or the help. So I don't know. It's very, it's very feel good, and I'm enjoying it. So. We don't want to put any torches in the in the cages. That would be silly. All right, I'm thinking. I don't even know how far apart these are, but sure. Oh, the video stopped. Don't you play an ad? Don't you do it? I'm not getting paid for that ad. <laughs> We need to do the setup video V2. More details on your DM screen setup would be awesome. I'm looking to make something similar in the future. All right, perfect. I'm, I'm very in. Now, I will say um, two things. Number one, the my digital display, my tabletop digital display. I It's a case, so it sticks about four inches up. And so the uh, DM screen that I have and the monitors go another four inches up to account for that height. And I can't. It's hard to see if I'm sitting in a regular chair. I do have to get a taller chair to see over that. So I will definitely go over my DM screen, but I would recommend uh, if you're going the digital map route, if you can incorporate that into your table, that would be massive. I would have if I had knew I was going to do the digital map thing. Um, so if you could do that, that's great because then you don't have to raise your DM screen up, which is cool. Um, and I also use the monitors kind of as my digital screen. So that's another thing that, is cool that's the number two is i don't actually use a regular dm screen anymore i kind of use the monitors to uh block what's going on behind the setup so i will go into all of it but just to keep in mind um that 
There are some things I would definitely change about my setup if I were to do it all again. But I love it. I love playing on it. People seem to enjoy playing on it. So no one's told me otherwise. I don't think they would anyway. But All right. So I can have some lights in here. Two there is fine. One here, one here. Would love to see a miniature collection screen too. How have I not done? I really have not gone into my miniatures. I guess I planned on doing that in the 3D one. And I guess I pulled out a couple. I have not gone into my minis. Interesting. That's a good point. I will absolutely show off my minis. I love them. Um, I know a lot of people are not happy with the fact that they're not resin, but filament based, but that's fine. <laughs> They, they serve a great purpose, and they work well for that purpose, so. I'm sure I'll get the comments that are going to be like, oh, they, they could be a lot nicer with the resin printer. To which I very much agree, by the way. Not against resin printers. Um, and then a dice collection, too. So the interesting thing about the dice collection, before I started playing D&D, I'm big into board games in general. And... Um, I used to play games that, like the party games, uh, like Farkle and a game called um, Vegas Dice and Pirates Liars Dice, like the one that they have in Pirates of the Caribbean. So I loved dice to begin with before I ever played D&D, &D, but I only used six-sided dice. So I actually collected the Chessex ones for a long time to the point where I have like, I think it's like 110 sets of the Chessex D6 dice. Then I started playing D&D &D and... Now, obviously, I'm buying the regular dice, and I have maybe maybe like 20 sets of those. I don't have near the collections that a lot of people have, um, but uh, I will definitely show them off, but I'm more proud of my T6 dice just because I did that for so long. Um, how often do I do map-making streams? So right now, I do them every Thursday night. Uh, they're only map-making streams just because I haven't really thought about what else to stream yet. Oh, oh. Fun thought. I have thought about doing a D&D &D session live with my viewers, uh, which would be a lot of fun. I'm working out the exact how-tos, uh, but I even know exactly what scenario I want to do. It's this treasure hunting encounter that I ran in Heroes Haven. I think it would be a lot of fun. So I right now I do the map ones, uh, but I definitely am looking into doing some other things. So I could definitely do minis during one of them, show off some of my dice and such. That'd be a lot of fun. Um Wow, someone else knows about Farkle. Yeah, my family spent a lot of time playing Farkle. <laughs> I don't know. It was just a, it was kind of a go-to game. We enjoy it. So we played it so much, I devoted a lot of my money to buying <laughs> sets of dice for it. That'd be fun. Yeah, the only the the issue I'm finding is that I don't know how to run it. With uh, A, I have this delay. I would like to get rid of this small delay that I have because basically I would be like, okay, you know, let's just say I was having you roll. All right, somebody roll to see what your perception check is and then wait 10 or 15 seconds before I get the answer. So I got to fix this delay somehow. But then I'm also not sure if I want, you know, the viewers rolling for everything or I want you just telling me what each character does or, you know, do I just ask you what the party does? I'm not sure how I want to run it yet. So... Definitely, if you guys have ideas for that, I'll be all ears to that, too. Because uh, I would love to play D&D &D with you all. That would be amazing. Mm, let's slide this over. It's a little too close to that cage, though. Hey, Michael, what's going on? I don't know if you're live or not, but welcome. That is so fun, hearing that little ding. My first stream, I didn't hear it once. And the first time I heard it was actually, I had, um, if you've never streamed before, you can run something through, run your stream through this app I'm using. It's called OBS. Uh, and I had that up still. So that's technically still recording and doing everything that the normal stream does without streaming it. And I was working on something after the stream and I heard that sound and I was like, what in the whole world? And it took me a minute to figure out that someone had subscribed and that's what the sound was for. All right, cool. So I think this is going to be 
the extent of it. Um, I think, I mean, I can't really think of much else. It's just a basic where all the creatures are kept. So I think I'm going to keep it at that. Unless you guys have any other ideas, feel free to let me know. Uh, there are ways to reduce the delay by a lot. As far as the rolling, it could be through roll 20 or something so everyone can see. Or they could just tell you, yeah, it's not a bad idea. Maybe running it through something else at the same time. Um, you know what? I'm actually planning on doing it through Albert Rodeo. So I could give out the, um, the invite so that you guys could actually join on the player's side of things. And be able to move the map around on your own accord and see see things. But I'll still display my stuff here. Use polls in a chat. That's true. Yeah, could I like update the polls immediately? Like make a new poll as I have a question pop up and have you guys fill out the poll? That's another good idea. I'll have to look into all this because I think it would be a lot of fun. Me just being up here DMing a a live D&D uh, &D session and you guys just telling me what you want to do. I think that'd be a lot of fun. All right. Well, I think that that's going to be the... Uh, I think that's going to be the stream for the night. As I mentioned, I will get all of this uh, posted on Patreon. This one's going to be a free one, so please do not feel obligated to go over there and become a paid member. But I'm going to uh, put this all on my Patreon. You'll be able to go download it. Um, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put the. I may have cut out there. I'm sorry. I'm gonna put the uh, Dungeon Alchemist file as well, so you can feel free to go in and edit it however you'd like. Um, I'm gonna put the gridded and gridless versions. Um, and someone mentioned earlier that the candles might be out rather than still be lit. So I'll put two versions. I'll put the candles lit and the candles not lit. Um, so I'll post all that over on Patreon, all for free. You can take them from there. And I think that's going to be it for the night. So for all of you that have been here this whole time, that has been super fun. I appreciate it. Uh, it is way easier talking to someone than talking to myself. <laughs> so uh, I appreciate all of your contributions and especially to the map. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. So I think last time I cut it too early. Like I said, bye, but then the stream cut off um, too early. So um I will say bye, and then I'll pause here for like 10 seconds, hoping that that doesn't cut it off at a weird time. So, uh, it was very nice to meet you, Scruffy. Good seeing you, DJ Widget, Blitz, everybody. It's been awesome. Uh, and I'll do it again next Thursday. So, so long, everyone. Have a good night.